I have a new jumping spider and in this video we are going to photograph him. So the past month or so I've been hinting at the fact I have a new jumping spider. This is a Philippus apationis. I will call him Red from now on. It is a male jumping spider. So Red as his name suggests, is a beautiful red and black jumping spider. Absolutely gorgeous jumping spider. And the reason you haven't seen him on the channel before is because he was very, very skittish when I first got him. I couldn't really handle him and record a video safely. I was fearful that he might get hurt when he jumps off something. When they're very skittish, they can jump off the desks, land on the floor. So I've left it about a month, just over a month or so. And finally, he has calmed down enough. He's gotten used to me to be able to photograph. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Right, so check out the new t-shirt. For people in the know who know what this is, you know what it is. It's available now on my website at stuartwood.com. If you go to the merchandise section, you will find this t-shirt and you can buy that. Every purchase will help to support the channel and I thank you in advance for that. So now I have my new t-shirt. I have my new jumper. Let's get on and let's photograph him. Normally you will see me when I'm photographing uh, Bungie, I'll get him out and then I'll get the camera ready. Well, uh, he's not ready for that stage of a photo shoot yet. So we're going to get the camera ready first. So the camera choice again for this shoot is a Canon EOS R. I have the lower 100mm 2x ultra macro lens on here. This is, is a fairly decent sized jumper, so we're not going to be needing more than 2 times magnification. My shot speed is going to be 1 200th of a second at f9 and an ISO of 400. That allows me to use my twin macro flash at 1 16th power with the crafty belt diffuser on the front here, which gives really nice reflections in the spider's eyes. So we have the scene set up. We got a simple leaf. This is a green leaf on a mini tripod. So these are just some leaves I found from the garden and I plucked them ahead of advance because when you first pluck them, they're very stiff like that. Whereas I want them to be floppy so I can place them on top of a tripod and you got like this rolling hill type of effect that the spider can stand on. And I have a blue background from one of my macro background textures, which you can get from my website at stuartwood.com. So let's get this fellow out now and let's see if we can photograph him. So this species of jumping spider is found in the United States, Mexico and Cuba and they're readily becoming available as pets now in uh, the UK. I don't know about other countries, you'd have to do your own research. But when I saw it advertised, I jumped right onto it. Now, I'm not going to tell you where I got this spider from because it was a very bad service, but I do believe that Maria over at spoodernest.com is also doing these type of spiders. You'll see straight away just how skiddish he is compared to um, the likes of Bungie. Um, whenever I do a technical video, I'm always using Bungie because I know how he's going to behave. I know he's going to be safe on set. Whereas with these guys, I'm not 100% sure. Now, when I first had him, he wouldn't sit on my hand like this. He would be just running all over the place. So if you do have a spider that is like that, then just keep handling him. Keep picking him up and eventually they will get used to you. You can see now he's having a little bit of a wander. And what I want him to do is I want him to wander onto the leaf. There we go. And what happens is with these jumpers, they like to have a little look around. And the key to getting them to settle down and to photograph them, which I've, you know, I've had a few comments asking me about how do you do this, is simply, I think, I'm not 100% sure, you'd have to ask a spider expert, but I think they get bored. And eventually they just sit there and just don't do nothing. So you can see at the moment, I'm just, I'm not prodding him, I'm not touching him. What I'm doing is I'm stopping him going to the edge of the, um, the leaf and accidentally falling off, which is what we don't want, do we? Now, another thing I've noticed is if you make some sudden movements or some noise, as Lee Hall will attest to, snapping your fingers sometimes gets their attention. So this little jumper here, I think he's almost ready for a picture. So I'm going to get rid of my chair. And that allows me to get down low to his level. And then we'll get our camera. Let's take a picture of this new jumper. And again, I'm using my focus peaking in order to nail that focus. 
you're interested in how I do my focusing, then check out this video up here. That will explain different methods for focusing in macro photography. So yeah, so he's not very scared of me no more. Like I said before, when I first had him, he was all over the place. He would just jump straight off my hands. And again, if you have a jumping spider like that, it's normal. Don't worry about it. Just keep handling them. Uh, another thing you can do is get close to them instead of actually picking them up. If they're so nervous that they can't pick them up, just get close to them so they get used to your presence. And then you're able to handle them. And then from there, once you can handle them, you can start to um, you know, photograph them because they'll settle down a lot quicker and you're not chasing them around and that. And you can get a little bit more creative with your photography. Previously, I had to feed Red in order to photograph him. It was the only way I could calm him down was to give him a fly so that he's preoccupied eating instead of what I am doing. And that's how I was able to get a couple of these shots here. So here are some more shots of Red. All these images have been edited in Lightroom using my macro presets available from stuartwood.com. So what did you think of Red, my new jumping spider? I think he's an absolutely gorgeous little fellow and we are sure to be photographing him again in the future. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name's Stuart Wood and again I'll see you on the next project. With the Crafty Bells diffuser on the front here which gives... And I have one of my blue backgrounds from one of my background... And I have a blue background from my background collection. And I have a blue background from one of my texture. And I have a blue back. I can't even pronounce my own product. Do you know what I mean? I'm supposed to sell them if I can't even pronounce them. CC's probably having a laugh right now. So this species of jumping spider is found. So this species of jumping for. So that is red, my new jumping spider. It was running off right now. Hey. But for now, I shall leave it there. I want to thank you for watching this video. And for now, I will leave it there. Oh, fucking hell, almost. I almost had that then.